quarterback. Um, okay, after the cut, um, you, these edges, uh, some of them, they're really, really sharp. Um, and the threads have been messed up. And where we put the hole um, or the divot, um, the threads are completely messed up. Um, and we need to still, we need all, the whole thing to be um, fully threaded um, and usable. So um, we're going to fix that. Um, we're just going to take a file uh, to all of them. Um, it doesn't take long. And we're just going to take off the, uh, the burrs and stuff and uh, get rid of the sharp edges. Um, just be patient. Uh, it takes a few minutes. Um, I'll be back when uh, when I get this one sorted, and uh, then we'll fix the threads. Okay, we're back, and uh, it's good now on that end. Um, it's not going to it's not going to cut anybody. It's uh, when you cut through it, some of the threads might be. Um, left super thin, um, and they become like little razor blades. So um, definitely want to take care of it. Now let's fix the. Uh, as you can see, it won't uh, won't come off. The threads are screwed up there. So um, let's fix that real quick. And we'll just put these on. That's it. I should fix that thread right there. I will do the same thing to the, where the divot is.
here. I'm sure everything's working good. Yeah. No problem. All right, we're back. Let me finish the other one. Okay, we're back. Um, now we got to worry about the pulley that goes on here. Um, we're going to tap that as well. And uh, we'll tap that for 5 sixteenths. Uh, these are super easy. Run it through. Let's see little bits of piece of plastic coming out there. There it's uh threading well. And we need to uh We need to do the set screw as well. So that's right here. All right, I'll be back when the other three are done, and uh, we'll start putting together the, uh, the side posts. All right, we're back. Um, these guys are ready to go. Um, the, uh, the only other ones we need to tap are the um, where the top plate goes. So we'll just uh, we'll do those. Um, just tap both screws, and they're easy. So. Um, Be back when they're all done. All right, welcome back. They're all done. Um, I said they're, they're ready to be done. Um, now we here's the bottom pieces. Three of these corners, <coughs> and one with a tensioner adjuster on it. Um, we don't really need to do anything with these. Uh, We'll just build the pieces together and uh, put it uh, put them together. Um, we're gonna put one of these on. Okay, and that was for a set screw. And 
just going to spin it or get it up there. So we see the divot. There it is. All right, that's it. Now it won't. It won't move now. All right, and now we need two little spacers um, right there, custom made, and that. And that's, so each one is going to, each bottom, or each pole is going to be just like this. We're going to put a spacer on, and that spacer is to, only this, this inside part spins. Um, so you need to, uh, you can't go flush up against it, otherwise it'll bind. So uh, you need these little spacers. And then that's it. And um, there, that's the bottom piece. And it just snaps in and goes like that. And that's your base bottom piece. Um, what I am going to do is uh, put some Loctite on here. This is. Uh, Mostly permanent. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Mostly permanent. Um, uh, if you get it, it's high strength. It's um, if you ever need to get it off, you got to heat it up really hot, and then you'll be able to get it off with with um, a branch and stuff. So, um, but you should never ever need to take them off. Um, so I'll uh, be right back as soon as I get all of these built um, with the thread lock on it. about uh, 10 minutes for the lock tech to set up and uh, so I'll be back in 10 minutes. All right, welcome back. Um, I'm going with a solid top. Um, that's what I want. Um, I don't want a, just an outside frame. Um, so you just lay it out. I uh, ordered this from Amazon. Um, it's uh, 1.8 aluminum. <coughs> um, about 10 bucks. Um, it's, uh, it's fairly square. Um, you know, the, they don't, uh, they don't guarantee it's exactly one foot by one foot. It's, it's, it's close. Um, you know, it's, um, but we'll work with it. Um, anyway, just put your, your, uh, top pieces on there, mark through the holes, um, and then, uh, pilot them and then drill from the other side so you can countersink them. Um, I've already done it, so um, that's all you got to do for that. Um, I'll be back. We're going to mount, mount these right now and uh, so we can get the measurements we need um, for the aluminum angle for those. We need to put these together first and then pop these on and uh, that'll let us, uh, I'll show you how to get the measurements that you need for the, uh, uh, the angles that go on here. Um, I'll be right back when I Get that all set up. All right, we're back. Um, we're all, it's all screwed together now. Um, now we're just going to put these these uh, these ones all the way down. Um, and then pop them into the, the brackets in here. Um, I'll be right back. Uh, all right, we're back. Um, okay, they're all down the lowest position. Um, now we're just going to put the bed on top on each of them, or the top plate anyway. Um, that's it. 
them over, and they'll just snug in. way is to um, grab some painter's tape so you know, it's easy to come off and and put it on pretty square because you can't know exactly what they are um, the uh, top plate, you know, it's not dead square. It's easier just to do it this way and be able to get your measurements. So I'll be right back when I've got this all done. All right, it's done. Um, now all we need to do is uh, measure it. Uh, we use this. And... Uh, how much we need in between each one. Um, measure each one and mark it down. Uh, this one is 10 and 10 just shy of 3 quarters. So we'll just mark that down. 10 and 3 quarters minus and just uh, carry on and do that for the rest of them. Um, and then we'll cut the aluminum and uh, Get it ready. I'll be back when uh, when I've done all that and got all the, all the cuts. All right, we're back. Um, I got all of them cut. Um, they were all ten and three, um, three quarter, just shy. Um, it came up. It came up pretty good. Um, and to mark for drilling, uh, you know, just line them up on there and uh, poke through, um, and you'll you'll you know. Put a dot on it, um, or use a, um, a drill that'll fit your hole, or a drill bit, and just give it a little twist, and it'll it'll mark the aluminum really easy. Um, I don't have to tell you how to drill um, or cut. Um, I just used a um, compound miter saw um, with a finishing wood blade on it. Um, just cut it slow. Um, make sure you wear eye protection and hearing protection because it screeches like crazy when you cut it. So um, you do that and. Uh, I'm going to throw some uh, put together with one inch bolts and uh, I'll be right back when that's done. Okay, we're back. Um, now it's time to uh, worry about the belt. Uh, 